rumors about the fabled Windows 11 have been circulating the internet for some time. Now, installation media for an internal development build of Windows 11 leaked online, which finally gives us a solid piece of evidence that this is indeed the major rebranding of Windows that many have speculated. Hey there everybody, it's me Cody from OnMicrosoft.com, where today we'll be taking an early look at Windows 11. Many aspects of Microsoft's master plan, such as Windows 10 Mobile and the Universal Windows Platform, have long since been axed or abandoned, leaving holes in Microsoft's strategy for influence in the modern world of personal computing. Perhaps Windows 11 is part of a new vision for this plan. We won't know for sure what Microsoft has in store for us until the Windows event later this month. Until then, we can take a look at what's new in this leaked build of Windows 11. The out-of-box experience is the first thing everyone sees when setting up a Windows PC for the first time. Immediately, we're greeted by brand new animations and sounds, which tell us that this is much more than a simple biannual feature release. The new out-of-box experience contains more or less the same content as before, walking you through things like the Microsoft account setup and privacy settings. Notably, however, Cortana is completely absent from this experience. Instead, your PC will now welcome you with the new Windows startup sound and animation, a long-lost relic which I'm glad to see returning. Once your PC has finally finished setting up Windows, you'll be greeted by the new taskbar and start menu. The start menu in Windows 11 bears a striking resemblance to the menu designed for Windows 10X. Everything just feels a lot rounder and softer. You'll find rounded edges on everything from the borders to the buttons. Even the context menus feature Microsoft's new, more rounded icon glyphs. These new icons are present everywhere in the operating system, not just the start menu, um, and cover everything from the rounded icon glyphs to the new fluent iconography that Microsoft uses for its products and services, like the recently released Microsoft Edge or all of Windows 10's pre-installed applications. Um, you can also find that Microsoft has updated all of the more skeuomorphic icons that have always been present in the Windows File Explorer here. You'll see that the desktop downloads and the various other Windows libraries have the new uh, iconography that was previously announced in some of the Windows 10 development builds for the Windows 10 feature release that's set to release sometime later this year. Windows 10, uh, or Windows 11, uh, certainly has those implemented here as well. Beyond that, you'll also find that the File Explorer window that I have open here, along with all of the other windows in Windows 11, have their corners cut off so that they have these new rounded edges that many people have been asking for. Um, I think they do look quite nice, but the rounded corners extend uh, a little bit further than just the window edges here in File Explorer. Of course, as this is a very, well, not even officially released build of Windows 11, obviously none of this stuff is final. Windows 10's earliest officially released development builds looked nothing like Windows 10 when it was finally officially released back in 2015, so everything that we're showing off in this video today could very well change by the time that Microsoft decides to release this version of Windows. Anyways, just taking a quick look around File Explorer here, you'll find many of the UI elements have also been updated with more rounded edges, including some of these legacy components like checkboxes and various buttons in things like the ribbon you'll find here. Even the drop-down menus have ever so slightly rounded corners on these uh, context menus. This, of course, extends beyond just the um, included Windows features. Let's say if I open up uh, a legacy application here developed by a third party, um, many of the uh, UI elements have, as an extension of Microsoft's efforts, are going to appear in many of your old uh, legacy applications. You'll find, again, the rounded corners present in things like the buttons and checkboxes here in uh, Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. 
Focusing our attention down here to the Windows taskbar, you'll also find that the new rounded corners have affected the icons down here as well. Uh, perhaps most noticeably, yes, the icons are now all centered in the Windows taskbar, yet again, another feature which is uh, present in Windows 10X and uh, strongly resembles the way that the uh, application bar appears on operating systems like Chrome OS or Mac OS. I think this looks quite nice, however, if you are someone who is used to the way things were in previous versions of Windows 10, you can of course go into the taskbar settings and move everything over to the left here as it was in previous versions of Windows. And of course the start menu as well shifts over to represent the left alignment setting. Um, as you saw there, when I went ahead and changed the alignment of the taskbar, the icons had this really nice flinging animation back towards the center and back towards the left. You can see there, I think this is quite nice. Everything from minimizing, you can see the settings cog there just dipped down a little bit when I minimize that, or when I open it back up again, it goes ahead and springs back open. Just lots of these fun little animations all over this new uh, taskbar, which I think really brings it to life. And applications, of course, have those animations when opening or minimizing or maximizing them. but. To the left here, we have the uh, Windows controls, the Start button, the Search icon, the Task View button, and the Widgets button. And they are all a little bit more special in that they have these special little animations, similar to what you might have found in the Charms bar in Windows 8. The Windows logo has this little shining animation when you click on it. The Search button here sort of uh, changes colors to the Microsoft Edge logo, you know, Task View, and again, the Widgets button do the same thing. They have have their own unique animations. The search pane here is exactly as it was in Windows 10, it, not really anything new. Um, again, just rounded corners all over the place, and it just looks really nice. Task view, again, is also very similar to how it was in Windows 10. A slight tweak in how the um, the um, UI is laid out. Of course, the desktops are now at the bottom, but you know, more or less the same feature set. What is new here is the widgets button, which is now uh, integrated into the default um, Windows controls here on the taskbar. Clicking on the widgets button, a uh, pane flies out here on the left of the screen, which currently features content which is more or less identical to the news and interests flyout, which was added in the last feature release of Windows 10. Uh, many of you <laughs> might be familiar with, as your PC may have updated with the uh, little weather icon here in the taskbar, but of course, here in Windows 11, that's being moved to a new widgets flyout on the left. I think it would be very interesting if Microsoft made it possible for developers to develop their own widgets here in Windows 11, or even if Microsoft could take applications that supported live tiles from Windows 8 and Windows 10 and have it so that the users could pin those live tiles here on the widgets pane just to have additional support for this feature by the time that Windows 11 was released, similar to how the feed page on Microsoft Launcher for Android allows Android users to pin existing Android widgets onto the Microsoft Launcher feed. Anyway, that's just my little take on that, but we're yet to see exactly how Microsoft plans on implementing this feature in Windows 11. Anyways, it's definitely a more sensible implementation of this feature than the news and interests flyout that was thrown haphazardly into the bottom right corner of the screen, like the many other things that Microsoft has slowly added into the system tray over the years. While we're down here in the system tray, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Windows sound settings so we can quickly take a peek at the new sounds here in Windows 11. Uh, those of you who have been following Microsoft News more keenly might recognize these sounds also are ported over from the cancelled Windows 10X that Microsoft was developing for Surface Neo. But let's go ahead and take a listen to some of these for those who may not have heard them in the past.
I'm going to also open up a couple more applications here real quick. Let's say Settings and Windows Calculator, just so we can have a couple of things open for me to demonstrate. That uh, There's uh, several new window animations as well. You've probably noticed them a little bit here as I was demonstrating some other features, such as Minimize here. And I'll go ahead and maybe even restore this window a couple of times. You can see this animation is uh, much more uh, dragged out than the animation in Windows 10. I think Think they look quite nice as well the maximize and restore animations here are much much smoother than they were in previous versions of windows again a feature which i think most people are going to appreciate we're going to also uh, snap windows over here the snap up snap to the left and snap to the right are in the corners you can see that the little um preview for the window snapping has been updated with the windows acrylic blur which also looks very nice here hovering over the maximize button you'll find a new tip here that'll allow you to snap windows simply by hovering over the maximize button which i think will make this feature a lot more discoverable for people who may be coming over to windows from chrome os or mac os uh, if you're someone who uses a tablet as your primary input, I'm going to go ahead into the Windows settings and go into the accessibility and enable the uh, visual feedback here just so you can see a little bit more easily uh, where my finger is on the screen. Some of the uh, window modification UI has been updated for tablet use as well. When I'm dragging this window around, you can see that the edges of the window get highlighted, which make it easier to see exactly what it is I'm doing with my fingers. If I go ahead and select the right-hand side of the window here, you can see that the window sort of extends slightly out past, which indicates to me that I have indeed selected the edge and the window can be resized in that direction. If I select the bottom here, the bottom one extends out as well, or in the corner, the um, left, well, the right and the bottom side sort of pop out there, so uh, as to indicate that that is the direction the window is going to be resized here for my finger. Some of the gestures have been reworked as well. Of course, the Windows 10X gesture, which some of you might have seen when we demonstrated Windows 10X, where you slide your finger up from the bottom to open start, has not been ported over here into Windows 11. Um, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a gesture at all for opening the Start menu. Simply clicking on the Start menu button with your finger is going to be the only way, as of right now, to open the Start menu. Sliding your finger down from the bottom, you also don't have a gesture there as well, unlike Windows 8 and Windows 10 tablet mode, which brought you into the multitasking view. Uh, sliding from the left does not open task view anymore. That opens the widgets pane, as might have been indicated when uh, clicking that button here from the desktop. Uh, and sliding from the right, as before, the only gesture that seems to have been unchanged opens up Action Center. Well, how ought I then to access Task View here with a tablet? Well, of course, you can click on the Task View button here on the taskbar, but you can also slide up with three fingers on the screen here. Maybe I'll try a couple more times. It should, yep, there we go, open Task View. Some of these gestures are a little buggy in this version of Windows 11, but yep, just slide up with three fingers there and task view will of course open and allow you to multitask that way. Sliding left or right with three fingers will be similar to the alt tab that you'll find on desktop allowing you to switch to the uh, next app that's open um, left or right on the taskbar there. Um, and of course sliding down with three fingers will minimize all of the open windows and sliding back up will open them back up again. With four finger gestures, pressing and holding down, we can switch between your different Windows virtual desktops. We can see here I have my virtual desktop number two down at the bottom here with my recording software and virtual desktop number one. Four fingers down, I can switch between them pretty easily just like that. Anyways, that seems to be most of the changes to the touch interaction that I was able to find here in Windows 11. Uh, none of the uh, context menu padding or changes have really been modified since the uh, 
previous versions of Windows 10 that we are already familiar with, so I'm going to say that's just about it for the UI changes here in this unreleased build of Windows 11. Of course, Microsoft has a Windows event planned for us later this month, which they will certainly be talking about many of these new changes and perhaps many of the things they have planned for the future. So if you would like to stay up to date about what those changes are, make sure to like this video, subscribe to On Microsoft on YouTube, and check out our website to keep up to date about what is to come for Windows 11 in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been me, Cody, from On Microsoft, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.